Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a great weekend. So last week we kind of discussed how the market was like we're going to top out Monday into Tuesday and you kind of saw the selling. So, so far our thesis is playing out pretty well. And you know, whatever I kind of told you last week still kind of stands. Like I'm still undecided on whether we're taking a green path or we're going to take the red path all the way down for that wave four. So again, till we break this 5440 level, this red path has no confirmation. The green can have a bounce, come back, fill this gap, and still, you know, continue to move higher. Or again, this wave four play out here, and it can try for the wave five. So again, this 5540, I mean, 5440 is the pivot level that the, we need to break to continue selling down into 5000. So yeah, I mean, this is kind of what I still see in the market. No changes. The dollar did have that oversold bounce off that support level. So again, we'll be heavily dependent. This short clip is presented by Chase. Fast track your learning curve and profit with our Leduc Trading Slack community. It is ideal for beginners who love the chase. Chase provides access to not only Samantha's daily market thoughts and chase trades, but also her fabulous team of live stage mentors who share their actual trades and risk management stops across equities, options, and futures. You also get access to custom trade support when you need it. For more information, visit www.laduketrading.com slash chase. On whether the dollar can have follow through right now, you can see that we are kind of rejecting this downtrend line. I mean, that's normal for it on the first time. What it needs to do around here, try to form a higher low and have another push. Otherwise, if we are going to sell off in the dollar, then it is very likely that this way four could have been established. And if that is the case, and if this is our way four, then we can just have that way five higher. So, I mean, technically there are like three paths. So let's just make this into a yellow color. And we can see here that technically this is kind of what we have in the market. So it's kind of wait and watch. We did get the sell. Now what you need to see on a smaller time frame, as you can see, this right here is your level of resistance. So on this bounce, I would say 5,600 is a good level. If we do reject this bounce of 5,600, then we're going to come down into this 5,500 support and then there's the gap fill. So that's kind of the level to watch out for. And again, the next level of possible resistance would be up here. What is that? 5,625-ish that could reject and again, come down for the gap fill. So yeah. And again, after that, like you break that, we're very likely going to go higher so. Those are kind of the two resistance levels to watch out for any bounces. And on the downside, again, 5,500. And then we have another gap fill, 5,428. So these four levels, I would say, would be the key ranges to watch out for all these patterns to play out. Go to the chart of QQQ. And yeah, this kind of gave off the clue. We're kind of at the top, top of the level. And yeah, even in QQQ, it does have a gap to fill. F468. And again, I drag this, you'll be able to see that that gap fill the next, the gap doesn't hold the next available support would again be this trend line channel all the way at 461. So 468 to 461, again, possible way four into a way five. You break 460 ish, then we have a lot of room down to 425 and potentially into 406. So yeah, those are your levels on QQQ, IWM. Again, you can see here, this is the 1.618 FIB and that is the level we do need to get above. So first time rejection, okay, very normal. Now, if it attempts this 222 level again and breaks it, then we are very much in the bullish green path. If it doesn't break it and we continue selling, then again, we're very likely gonna come back into the range at 190 on IWM. Let's look at the chart of the 10 year and we'll be able to see that right now you can see that we are on support. And we're just kind of sideways. So below 4.17, bullish the market. Above that, IWM also starts getting under pressure. Look at the VIX here. Like I said, you break 14, you very likely push 17, 18. We're there. Again, this again can be another, you can see here. We have often gotten rejected at this level. So I would say now your level to get over becomes 18. And obviously, you can see that this this area here has a lot of resistance. I won't be surprised if we push up there, get rejected. But to be bearish the market, this would need to form a higher low. 
and pop off. For now, it's just done the bare minimum. So kind of just watching to see what we do at this level, like see what clues what Wix gives us. All right, with that being said, let's look at this week's watch list. And the first one I have is BMY again. Kind of just looking for kind of an oversold bounce. You can see this has been a very prolongated downtrend in the market and we did bounce off with support. So you can see here, this is a level of resistance. You can get over to 42.5, 42.6, break over this resistance and we should be able to push into 45, 48. It is a slow mover. It's not going to jump immediately to 48, but it does have a gap to fill at 48. So if we can somehow you know, consolidate here. I think this would make a nice breakout into 48 on BMY. So that's what I have on BMY. The next one that I have is Boeing. So again, this sideways channel, kind of like an Airbnb, can still consolidate before it breaks down. But if we start to get below 179, we should easily push into 172. And possibly, right, come down into this fib level if this is a wave four. That's red rejecting but yeah this 179 is the trigger to look for on airbnb the next one i have is etsy and again it's similar to bmy where it is kind of attempting a downtrend breakout but it's not there yet it needs to stay over the ski level at 62 if it can hold over that we do have a gap to fill it till 69 and possibly can't even push into the next fib at 76 so this is important for us to base here if it starts to break down We'll likely come into the bottom of the channel again. Last but not the least, I have Oracle. Again, this is dependent on if this is generally called an island. If we're still going to be within the island, we will still chop for some time before it breaks down. But that's, again, one path. If this rejects and comes breaks this level at 137, then we're very likely you know, going to come down and push down into 123 gap full which again would make for a very nice short trade to the downside. So kind of why you need to watch this 137 level in the market to come back down. So yeah, that's all I got for this week. I hope you have a great day. Subscribe to Leduc Trading YouTube channel for more Wolf's weekly wave list videos and other content.